So good news, I got back from Monument Valley with this colony and the other one, these two nukes. They both have queens in it. So we have a uh, purebred queen from Monument Valley. This one was left after the trailer cut out until the queen cell uh, was opened up and the new queen emerged. She went on her mating flight, came back and was laying eggs by the time I brought it back, uh, by the time I moved. So we've got a purebred queen. Uh, the only trouble was is there was not a lot of worker bees in there. She doesn't have the support staff in nurse bees and workers to uh, really gain some momentum this summer to get through the winter. So this is a very valuable queen to me. I want to make sure she uh, has the uh, support she needs. We've got to get her through the winter. So already I've taken and grafted some larva out of there, started some new queens. We're going to do more of that today with her. Uh, also I shook some bees out of other colonies and that's what this top box is. So they should be queenless and, and ready to combine and willing to accept the new queen. So that's what we're going to check right now, make sure that I didn't shake a queen in there by accident and then uh, put them in with the queen from Monument Valley below. Should be easy enough to let them combine. All I'm going to do is open up the screen here between the two. I want to have a look. Give it a quick look for a queen bee. Just make sure I didn't shake a queen out of another colony in with all these nurse bees. I don't want to that make that kind of mistake. Too valuable of a queen. I fed them a quart of syrup. They're filling up the comb I gave them. There's no brood in here, just bees. They're filling up all the cells on this frame with honey. And so, I would guess uh, there's not a queen because they're not leaving space for her to lay in. Usually if there's a queen in there, they'll leave a patch open, usually around the middle of the frame, for her to lay eggs in, and they're filling everything up. Okay, and one day later, look, you can see here they're making queen cells, queen cups anyway. So, do we know they're queenless? They sure are if they're doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight queen cups there. We're ready to uh, raise a new queen with. They're in the mood to raise a new queen. They're in the mood to accept a new queen. So I'm not going to worry about them. I put her right, uh, right in with the other ones and, and uh, away we go. Well, to do that, I'm going to remove this. plug there, the cover that I put on the queen below. They can go down and combine there. And I'm going to open the bottom of this nuke box. I've got a screen here. I'll open that up so they can crawl through. Now I don't have to disturb a whole lot. I'll just put this back on. Let them crawl down through and join the queen below. You can hear the bees uh, nazanoving. You can see them nazanoving. They're crying for a new queen. I'm not going to get too worried. I think it'll be fine. I'll put another jar of syrup on there for them. Uh, and that always helps if there's a nectar flow on or if you're feeding the bees, then they're more likely to accept uh, a new queen.